After what feels like years or months of rumors and leaks and yada yada yada, we finally have an actual Switch Lite with us. My name is Tom Marks, I'm here from IGN to unbox this very pretty yellow Switch Lite that Nintendo sent us. Uh, so let's jump right into it. You can see it's a really small box to start. I have a Switch case. Uh, and my case for my Switch, and this is like a slim case, is like bigger than this box already. Uh, so let's dig in. Uh, it's a fairly simple little package, you know, not, not much on the outside. On the inside, we've got uh, a pretty standard little carton that you can pop out. Oh, that's a lovely noise. And here it is, the meat and potatoes, the actual Switch Lite, just in a, a pretty little simple plastic bag. This thing is really, really pretty. Something that kind of doesn't come across in a lot of the marketing images that have been shown for this before is just how matte this finish is. It's a, it's a much matter, kind of quieter yellow than something you might know from like the other Joy-Con that they have for the, the base Switch. Uh, and beyond this, we'll get to this in a second, I just want to show you there's really not much else in this box. You open up this little lac or thing here and there's a safety information, the standard sort of card with all, all that info you want, and then a charger, and the charger is in its own bag, and it seems to be pretty much just the same as a normal switch charger from what I can tell. We haven't played around with it, obviously, yet. You pull it out, it's uh, it's it's very much just what we know of as, as a switch charger. Uh, so yeah, not much to see there. But the actual light, uh, something that struck me also immediately was it's so light. It is very, very light. I've got a normal switch here, uh, and it's kind of a night and day difference in terms of the weight of it. Uh, the size, you know, it, it's, it's smaller, but it's not like so much smaller. Um, moving around on some of the features, some of the differences that I've noticed immediately from the, the switch itself, uh, the power button, this is gonna be really hard to see, but the power button is a little deeper in, a little bit more recessed. And meanwhile, the, uh, the volume buttons are a little bit more raised than the Switch normally is. Um, we've got a headphone adapter like usual, the game card spot like usual, which just pops open. It's pretty much exactly what you'd expect from the normal Switch as well. I have my little game card of Smash Bros here. Slides right in, ta-da, like normal. Not much of a big deal there. Uh, we have the SD card slot here, which is in the same spot that it was on the normal Switch, but now it doesn't have the kickstand because you're not gonna be standing it up. Uh, similarly, I don't think I have to say this, but the Joy-Con are not Joy-Con, they're just attached to the system. Uh, beyond that, the biggest difference you might notice also is this little D-pad right here, of course, uh, which we haven't had much time to actually play with yet because uh, it's, you know, we just opened it, but it, it seems to be a nice little decon, a nice little construction, much smaller, much matter than maybe I was expecting based on some of the images, um, but it's a pretty little thing, and I'm very, very excited to play around with this, see how some of the games compare, how the screen looks, all that jazz, battery life, what have you. We're gonna have a full review breaking all of that down on IGN.com. For everything else, Switch Lite, stay right here. <laughs> 